you know what you're going to tell them? Yeah. Just say, hey folks, welcome back to the channel. But you have to move out the way because it's my video. Oh, it's your video? Uh-huh. Okay. No, I, I don't need a cat. Okay, no. whenever you're ready. Hey folks, welcome to the vlog. I hope you're having a good new year today. And we're going to put some connections here and right there and there so your jobs can be easier. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add quick connect disconnects to your pressure washer gun, accessories, and the high pressure hose to make your life easier and more efficient. Well, let's get started. All right guys, so what I want to talk about today hopefully will make your life a little bit easier. Now, Santa Claus was pretty good to me this year. He brought me this brand new Sunjo SPX 3000 pressure washer, um, along with some extra goodies here, a little foam cannon and a uh, you know, pressure washing gun. Um, I've used this once already just to do some engine bay cleaning, um, but I, I feel like this thing is, is really gonna be a valuable tool you know, when I'm washing my car, as opposed to this you know, unbalanced uh, pressure washing lance, particularly when you have the uh, foam cannon attached to the end of it. So what I wanted to talk about today is this pressure washer and, and really electric pressure washers in general and how you can make your life a little bit easier when you're working with these tools. So this one in particular here, this, this brand of uh, foam cannon and gun is uh, by a company called Twinkle Star. There's what uh, Santa Claus brought me there. And when I went to hook this thing up, you know, this, this thing of course just hooks with a quick connect here to the gun. This makes it real handy, you know, it's, it's really balanced, I feel, um, and, and you're not, you know, holding it way out here to spray the car. Um, but what I found when I went to hook this guy up to the Sunjo pressure washer is that the Sunjo connection here is actually an M22 thread, but the inside diameter is a 15 mil. Now, this guy right here is also an M22 thread, but the inside diameter is 14 mil. So this thing will just not fit on this particular gun. Now I know there are other guns out there that have the M22 by 15 um, thread and, and connection, um, but this one did not. So I wanted to do two things here really. One, I wanted to be able to utilize this gun with the pressure washer, but I also wanted to add some quick connect fittings to make changing these things in and out a lot easier and a lot simpler. All right. So let's take a look at what came in this package here. And again, I'll have a link to this uh, setup down in the description below. So what I purchased were two of uh, these quick connects and then also this guy here. Now, this particular quick connect here is an M22 by 14 mil. And that guy will fit into the, the, the gun here. And then these two connections are the M22 by 15 that I'm going to put these two, these two quick connect couplers in the end of the hose and then I'm going to use these two guys for the accessories. So let me show you what we're going to connect and then we'll get everything hooked up. Alright, so first thing I'm going to connect is this M22 by 14 connection to the pressure gun itself. Now, a little quick tip here, what I've already done is I went ahead and put some uh, high temp, high pressure grease on these O-rings in here, as well as on the inside of this coupling here, just to give it a little better waterproof sealing when I make this connection. All right, so this guy simply screws into the bottom here. All right, now that one's ready to go. All right, now for the hose that comes with the Sunjo pressure washer, this guy's an M22 by 15. And what I'm gonna do with both ends of these, so these are both your male connections here, is I'm gonna take this quick connect coupler. And again, I've already went ahead and put some, uh, some of that high temp, high pressure 
grease, bearing grease on here just to give it a little better seal. I'm just going to pop this guy on here. Just going to snug it up a little bit. And then just do the same thing on the other end. Snug that one up a little bit. All right, now these two guys, these two ends of the pressure hose are ready to go. Now what we have left are these two M22 uh, by 15 mil uh, 3 8 inch quick connect plugs. I'm going to use one for the lance that comes with the Sunjo. And again, this guy will just thread right on here. I'm just going to hand tighten that. All right, now this last connection, I'm just going to put on the back of the pressure washer itself. And this will be where the high pressure hose connects to the pressure washer. Now you can also do quick connects on the front side of this pressure washer where your garden hose hooks to. But at this time, I'm not going to do that. All right, so now that we've got all of our quick connect couplings installed, this is just a simple plug and play. No more fiddling with the garden hose, the high pressure hose, while you're trying to work quickly and efficiently to get all of your pressure washing jobs done. Again, when you're done, Simply disconnect, wrap up, store away, and you're on to your next job. So now that we got everything hooked up, our garden hose is turned on, I've got all my quick connects connected, let's give it a try and see how they actually work. Okay, so again, what I'm using is my Sunjo SPX 3000. It's rated for 2030 PSI. Um, but the actual operating pressure, I think, is around 1450. All right, so I've got the gun connected. I've got my 40-degree nozzle on. Not that that matters. I've got the quick connect pressure, uh, high pressure hose quick connected to the back of the pressure washer. Let's give this a shot, see if everything functions properly. All right, so as you can see, this works really well. Now, I was using this thing, I've actually used this pressure washer probably about two or three times now just to do some washes on the cars. Um, I used this pressure gun earlier today to do a wash on my engine bay for the Envoy right behind me. And before I use these quick connects, one thing that was really aggravating and, and just you know really slowing down my process was this hose would get kinked and I would have to, you know, spin the hose around to get the, the loops and everything untangled. But now with the quick connect, you know, it's, it's just a swivel, right? So now you can just swivel the kinks and the loops out of the hose without actually having to, you know, spin all the way around. And that's really nice. Another nice feature of these quick connects is that you can quickly connect between two different units. You can quickly connect between your pressure gun and your pressure wand, if you so choose. But I think for now, I'm going to leave that pressure gun on the pressure washer because it's a lot easier. It's, it feels a little better in the hands. That handle is rubberized. Now, this, partic uh, this particular pressure gun is not one of the higher end models. I think the pressure gun and foam cannon um, as a pair came in maybe about $23 or something like that. You know, but for $23 bucks for a weekend warrior like myself, so far, it seems to work well. All right, folks, well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, please hit that thumbs up button. It'll really help the channel out. Also, if you hadn't done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get notified when my next videos come out. As I said, I'm gonna be doing an upcoming video on my top three accessories for pressure washers, specifically electric pressure washers. So again, be sure to hit that bell notification so you get notified when that video comes out. 
And as I mentioned before, I'm going to have links to all of these products down below. These are going to be my Amazon affiliate links. I do get a little commission from any products purchased through those links, and it helps the channel out. I hope you guys have a happy and safe new year, and I look forward to seeing you in 2020. Y'all take care, and we'll see you on the next one.